Hi folks, this is Andy and welcome to my second Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to manipulate an object in 3D space. I would say uh, the last tutorial is definitely a prerequisite for this. And that was just basically a tutorial where I showed you how to orbit the camera, zoom, pan, and go to all the different views using the numpad. So we're going to start this tutorial in the front perspective by pressing 1 on the numpad and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pan and orbit just a little bit so that I'm looking at it from more of a 3D view. Then I'm going to make sure I right click on the object so that it's selected. And as you can see we have these three arrows here. These are the translate manipulators. Translate just basically means move. And down here in the lower left hand corner you can see the X, Y, and Z axes and if I orbit around you can see how they orbit with me. And they're pretty much the same as the little arrows here. Uh, and if, if the angle confuses you, the color should help you. Like the red is X. And if you click on that, you can move the cube on the x-axis. If you click the blue manipulator, you can move it on the z-axis. And if you click this one, you can move it on the y-axis. Another way to do this is to make sure the object is selected, and then press G to grab. And then whichever axis you want to move it on, just press that letter on your keyboard. Y moves it on the Y axis. X and there you go, you can move it on the X axis. And Z you can move it on the Z axis. Another way that you can do this is, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this menu here by pressing T and pull up another menu by pressing N. And if I go up to the top here, you can see I have a transform menu with a location. And you can see there are numbers under that location. And if I click on these numbers and change them to zero, you'll see that the, the cube is actually moving in relation to that. And now it's back in the center where it started. And if I go ahead and click on these and I just scroll back and forth, the cube moves. If I move left, it goes down. If I move right, it goes up. So that's another way that you can manipulate an object in 3D space. Now I'm going to show you how to rotate the object. Go down here. The arrow is the translate manipulator. The half moon here is the rotate manipulator. Click on that and you'll see this sort of orbital planet looking thing and by clicking on each color it allows you to rotate on that axis. In other words blue will rotate on the z-axis so left click and you can see it's sort of turning around a, a line in the center sort of like a shish kebab or a rotisserie grill and then if you click the red one that'll go ahead and let you rotate it on the x-axis And then if you click this one, you can rotate it on the y-axis. And then if you click on the one outside, it sort of rotates all of them at once. Just like um, grabbing, if you press R, now the cube is selected. And if you press X, you can rotate it on the x-axis. If you press Y, you can rotate it on the y-axis. And if you press Z, you can rotate it on the z-axis. So that's fine. And then the final thing I'm going to show you is scale. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to rotation and I'm going to put these all back to zero so it's sort of back to normal. I see I sort of changed the location a little bit too. So now it's right back in the center. And then I go down here and click this and it's the scale manipulator. Now before I show you how these individuals work, I'm going to press the S button and that will allow you to scale the entire object at once. You can make it smaller or bigger. And just to show you that 
because it's a cube, it doesn't really look that much different. I'm going to press Shift D, and that's going to duplicate and make me another cube. And I'm going to move it on the Y axis. So I just pressed Y, and I'll move it away. And then the one in the background, right now I'll right click that, make sure it's selected, and press S. And you can see the obvious difference now. But I can do more than that. If I use these manipulators, I can change the individual axis and it actually changed the shape of the cube. Now it's more like a rectangle. And if I go on the x-axis, I can make it wider or thinner. And if I go on the y-axis, same thing. So I can actually literally change the shape of this so it's no longer a cube. And you can do that with anything. I'll show you that really quick. Let me delete this and I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, add in a monkey and I'll bet you that monkey where is that monkey? There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take that monkey and put it over here. Should go ahead and put it at zero zero and delete the cube. I don't need the cube. I just want to show you sort of what scaling can do with a differently shaped object. You can make the monkey's face wider or skinnier, longer or skinnier. And it just depends on which axis. And as you can see, it doesn't just work with a cube, it works with any object. You can scale any object on each individual axis and actually change the shape of that object. And that's about all I have for you today. I hope you've learned a lot and I hope you'll be back for my next tutorial. And until then, have a great day and I'll be back and see you soon.